Hello viewers, welcome to our CRE class. The topic of discussion today is Prophet uh, Jeremiah, and we get to look at the background, the background call of Prophet Jeremiah. Now, in the previous lesson, we did look at uh, Prophet Amos. We looked at uh, the background call of Prophet Amos, the teachings of Prophet Amos. We also looked at the visions of uh, Prophet Amos and the relevance of uh, Amos to Christians today, among other things we did look at. Now today we get to look at Prophet Jeremiah and the background call of Jeremiah. What, how was, how can we, how, how can we explain the background, right? During the call of Jeremiah, what was the social setup, right? What was the political setup, good? And what about the religious setup during the call of Prophet Jeremiah? Your tutor is Roger Michira and your station watching is Elimu TV. Welcome all and let us learn. Now, class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are able to discuss the background call of Prophet Jeremiah. Now, getting to our discussion, the people during the call of uh, Jeremiah, the people of Judah were divided into three social classes, right? The people of Judah were divided into three social classes. Now, the first class, it is the, arist uh, uh, the, the class of the aristocrats. Right? And who were these aristocrats? They were the, the royal priesthood, they were the royal priests, right? The princes, right? The learned prophets, good. All those who were in the royal class, right? Those people who were in leadership. That was the first, the first social class of the aristocrats. And the aristocrats, they always oppressed the poor. And they were rich, they were felt rich. And they oppressed the poor. Then the second class was the technical uh, the technical professional, right? The technical professionals, you can see that, the technical professionals. These were the trained, the skills personnel. Talk of the, 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 the iron smiths, right? Those who did, uh, who did uh, crafts, right? Good. All those people, the trained personnel, the trained personnel. In, in Judah, they belong to the technical professionals. Then from that again, we had another social class, which is uh, uh, now the poor, right? The poor, it comprises of the slaves, the widows, the orphans, the foreigners, right? And they, these were the poor in, in the society. So we can get to see, during the call of Prophet Jeremiah, we only had three social classes in Judah. One, we have said, we had the aristocrats, we had, then from there we had the technical professionals. These were the trained personnel in Judah. Then finally we had the people, uh, the, 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 the lower class people, the normal, the, the normal people, the slaves, the widows, the orphans, the foreigners, all those, and they were all, and, and they were oppressed. Now we have just looked at the social setup during the call of Prophet Jeremiah. Can we get to look at the leadership now? The leadership. Now the kings and people of Judah worshipped idols, that's the, the religious setup. The kings and people of Judah worshipped idols. They practiced human sacrifice, divination, magic, and listened to false prophets. What is this human sacrifice? Remember in Israel, the Israelites could offer uh, animal sacrifices, right? And look at now the people of Judah, what they are doing. They are they're, they're offering human sacrifices to God. Look at that. Let me show you. Let me show you. You can see that. You can see that. They're offering human sacrifice. You see at the, at the altar there, right? What, what, what they are doing. Look at the second image there. Good. You see that? Human sacrifices, which was not recommended. Now, <clears throat> let us now get to Jeremiah's life. Jeremiah's father was a priest called uh, Hilkiah. He was born in the territory of Benjamin at a place called Anathot. He was well educated. Good. Jeremiah was well educated, and his father uh, uh, and his father was a uh, Hilkiah, born in a place called Anathot. Now Jeremiah received this call in the form of a dialogue. You know, a dialogue, the issue of communicating with God, right? The issue of communicating one on one with someone. That's what you call a dialogue, right? You're having a conversation. So the same to Jeremiah, they had a conversation with God, right? Now God told him that He had appointed him to be his messenger, even before he was formed in his mother's womb, right? God had selected him to be a prophet. Remember Jeremiah, hey, I'm young, right? How are you going to send me to be a prophet? No, God told him, Jeremiah, even before you were born, 
I had selected you or I had chosen you to be my prophet. Now Jeremiah said he was too young and did not know how to speak. Jeremiah was too young and not how did not know how to speak. Now, what, what did God do, right? God touched Jeremiah's mouth. This symbolizes that God is the one who shall put words in his mouth. <coughs> Jeremiah responded to God's call in faith and obedience. Look at that. Let us look at um, God touching Jeremiah's tongue. Look at that. Yes, you can see Jeremiah and you can see the hand of God. The, uh, the hand of God touching Jeremiah's mouth, telling him, I'm going to put words in your mouth. That's all for today, class. For our assignment, can we get to step the social classes during the call of Jeremiah? Right? And a reference, get to refer to Galb, Christian Religious Education, Students Book, uh, Third Edition. And as always, this is a Link TV, your favorite learning channel, where you get to always watch and learn. Get to contact us via our contact address on your screen. And as always, this is your teacher, Roger Mishira. Thank you. And let us meet in the next session.